Namaste, namaste, Ashe. How many? How you doing, girl? How you doing? Yes, good night. Namaste. I'm so happy you came to me for this reading, girl. You are my first client. So I'm so happy to be doing this reading for you and to be working with you. We're using two decks, girl. All right, you already know we got the Anubis, the Anubis Oracle deck. Yours. Okay, and then we got the regular playing card deck. This is the one that you can start off to learn with. It's easier. It's, well, it's not that easy, but it can become easier for you once you do your research and you find out what the cards mean. But you can work with these first because you can get them at any playing store. I mean, you can get these playing cards at any, you know, department store. So that's why they're easy to come by and to start with. Okay. So big up yourself, girl. So naturally, conscience. My at queens, my sis. Okay. Wants to know, in case you forgot, girl, all right, you want to know about your love life and you would like to see, would you have any luck this year or should you continue with the situation that you are with, with the God that you deeply care about and see where y'all go? That's what you want to know. That is the question this queen has, okay? Just trying to see, would she have any luck? This year, or should she continue with her situation with the guy that she's deeply, you know, that she deeply care about and see where it goes. But from my, you know, from my personal opinion, girl, because you already know me. You know, if you deeply care about this guy, you understand, you should just see where it go. Why would you, you know, want to um, worry about, you know, what's, what's coming in if everything is working out, you know? But that's, that's that's up to you because only you know your personal life, you know? But if everything is working out between you and this guy that might be a soulmate, you know, you shouldn't be wanting to look for any other type of, you know, other love. But if it's not working out or if it's okay, you know? But if you deeply care about him, then... But let's see what's going on in the reading, what's going on in cards. Big up. Obatala, we got Obatala. There y'all. Representing, we got the sage and the incense, the frankenmer burning. We got our stones. Okay, baby, we got our stones around us. Okay, this is for harmony, Queen Harmony. It's not going to be that long either, girl. Okay, not going to talk your head off, but I'm asking the divine. Gods and goddesses to assist me with harmony reading. I'm asking my guides, my spirit guides, my highest self, the archangel, sorry, the Arishas, all right, the Arishas, that's what we want to say, the Arishas. All right, we, act, we want to ask for their guidance and their help. I already did that. I already spoke to them, but I'm doing it on camera. All right, I love them. I always talk to my spirit guides. All right, I already spoke to the gods and the goddesses and asked for their assistance with this reading and with me, you know, since I'm just starting. But I'm, I'm always listening to readings. You know, that's what made me get into um, tarot. I'm always, I'm addicted to listening to my readings. <laughs> you know, my twin flame readings at that. That's why, because I have a twin flame and he's, a, I'm in a, you know, he's in a karmic situation. So I'm always trying to find out what's going on between us. So that's what, like, I'm like, okay, I've been, I'm in love with, I've been watching tarot since last year, the beginning, you know, almost two years now, you know? So I said, I love tarot. Let me do it because I, I can get the hang and the feel of it because I'm on this journey. I'm a light worker. So they're going to assist me regardless. And I got a message today from the angels. Thank you so much. I love you. Thank you. Thank you so much. Okay, so let's pick up three frauds. Now you already know about Taladea. You already know that. So don't, you know, don't worry about him. He's right there, y'all. Okay. 
we're going to do six. Why? Because let me tell you why. I got this. I got this number the other day, and I was supposed to look this number up, 66, 66, and then the, the tax, the number, I added it up, and it was a 9, and then turn the 9 back, so it's 666. So I'm going to do a 6 card spread, just because I, that number is still in the back of my head, and I have to go find out what is that message from angels. Okay? So let's get this reading started. I'm so excited to see what's in the cards. Okay, so number one, you have the Anubis, Anubis, okay, we're going to get back to that, let me just turn the cards over, um, the next card is Sobek and Horus, okay, girl, these two is in reverse, okay, this one is not. The reason why I say it's in reverse because it's facing you, not me. Okay, you're on camera, but it's reverse to me. So that means it's in reverse. Okay. This one is facing me, so it's not in reverse. Okay. This one is good. Stop. These is good too, but they in reverse. Okay. Some card readers, they don't do the cards in reverse. They read them like that. But I shuffled everything. So they meant to come like like, like that. And I turned them all over and it's still okay. So we're gonna leave it. We ain't gonna we ain't gonna mess with the cards because I was about to. All right, um, we have this one set, okay, right here. Let's just make sure. And then we have right here in, in Anubis. What, girl? Anubis in your card. Okay, and then, so you have, okay, hold on. So this one is alchemy. So altogether, you have four reversals and two uprights. Okay, because this one is upright. This one is reverse, it's facing you. 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 So with reversals, it's basically you got to work on that. That's what's, what's basically, you know, what's going on with the reversal. You have to flip it around, girl. All right, flip it around and work on it. And we're going to get those clarifications for the reversals, okay? So the number one reversal call you have, girl, all right? It, wait, hold on, hold on, hold on. Sorry. Sorry. So, let's fill out the energy of this card. Let me just let me take a quick time out for a minute. Moving too quick. <sighs> Moving too quick, baby. Okay, so this is for... Your love reading, your love reading, your love life, what's going on right now? Should you, you know, look further or should you just, you know, stay where you at and, and just continue on your journey with the person you with? Okay, so let's see what the answers are. The first reversal we have here is surrender. You have Anubis. All right. Anu Anubis. Anubis, all right, because <laughs> it's different ways, all right, it's Anubis, though, it's not Anubis, all right, you have to pronounce their names the right way, because if not, they get mad, all right, so yeah, I forget it right, so this is Anubis right here, hold on, hold on, girl. all right, so Anubis is a reversal call you have, all right? The shaman, enlightened heart. It's in reverse. Enlightened heart. Anubis holds the keys to the Egyptian mysteries within himself. He is an accomplished shamanic high priest and metaphysician as opener of the way. He is a powerful spirit who helps transport individuals from one incarnation into another and one realm okay or dimension into another during the shamanic journey of i mean sorry during the shamanic journey or transformation transformational process okay so he deals with the afterlife anubis okay 
and this is and like you have an enlightening heart and that I can say because I've been you know I've been I've been seeing it you, you you very much do you know you waking up to your calling you know you um you are getting enlightened like enlightening by others you know like for instance for me you know you said that you wanted to start doing your you know you want to start practicing this because I thought you did already girl <laughs> you know but you said you don't but you want to start practicing this okay so you have an enlightening heart okay so guess what this means this is reverse so you have to turn this around and get it popping harmony because it's reversed. If it was like this, that means, okay, you know, you, you had the enlightening heart. Now you're getting it popping because you, 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 you was enlightening. So you're like, you know what? I want to, I want to do that. You know, this is very interesting. I'm going to practice this. I'm going to do it, but it's in reverse because you're thinking of doing it. You're not doing it right now. You're thinking about doing it. Okay. So you have an enlightened, enlightened heart right now, but it's in reverse. So you have to reverse, you have to turn this back around okay the next card that we have here is so back in Horus okay in reverse all right so you have so back in Horus reconciliation of opposites forgiveness and understanding girl so this is reverse because it's not facing me it's facing you Okay, so what this mean right here, hold on, hold on, because I'm going to give you, you know, my input, and but I got to give you, you know, the meaning of the card, the real input, okay? So Beck and Horus represents two powerful opposing psychic forces found in all human beings. You hear that? So Beck and Horus represent two powerful opposing psychic forces found in all human beings the old and the new parts of each of us they appear together as advert advert adversarial allies to help us reconcile opposing Forces and create a harmony, what, what? a harmony, a harmony, a wait, a harmonious balance union within, and that's crazy, and that is crazy. Cause guess what? Guess what? Your name is Harmony, girl. Your name is Harmony, girl. And you should pop in. Yes. Yes, girl. That was the key word right there. That was the key word right there. They appear together as adversarial allies to help us reconcile opposing forces and create harmony, harm, harmonious, sorry, harmonious balance union within harmony, harmonious. Okay, so basically, look at this card. It's in reverse, right? It's in reverse. It needs to be the other way around, facing me. Okay, they appear together as adversarial allies to help us reconcile opposing force and create harmonious balance union within. The crocodile god Sobek represents strength and fortitude, fertility, and rebirth. From Sobek, we inherit the reptilian brain that contains the ancient evolutionary patterns okay so this is in reverse and this one is in reverse 
So basically, this needs to be this way, like I told you before. Reconciliation of opposites, forgiveness and understanding. So you and your partner, okay, you and your partner right now, the one that you're dealing with, okay, I don't really know. I should have, you know, ask, probably ask more questions, okay? I don't know if y'all going through anything right now or y'all did go, and, go through something in the past, okay? That's probably why y'all was on and off or y'all had stopped talking for a while, but something happened in the past, okay? And it's something still probably in back of your head right now or in back of his head, something that happened in the past that needs to be reconciled. That's why this is not upright. That's why it's reverse. All right. It's supposed to be upright towards me. It's reverse. So if it was upright, that's a different story. But since it reverse, okay, you have to get it right. You have to get it upright. Okay, because it says forgiveness and understanding, reconciliation of opposites, because this is a love reading. This is not like, okay, a regular reading. This is your love reading. Okay, so reconciliation of opposites, you and your partner. Okay, because like I said, you, you, you care, you do care very much for him. Okay, you do. And um, like I said, this is in reverse, so it happened in the past. Okay, this situation happened in the past because y'all, you say you care deeply, uh, you know, you care deeply about this man. And if y'all wasn't, you know, talking right now, you wouldn't really, you know, you probably would still feel that way, but not, you understand, y'all not really having no problems like that. But y'all probably had problems in the past and y'all need to reconcile and fix it so this car can be upright. Okay, but don't worry, girl. Don't worry. It's not, it's not looking bad. All right, just got to work on some things. The next card is we have an upright Thoth. Big up Thoth. You don't know that's my Egyptian sign. All right, this is an upright. I hope you can see the light. Okay. And this says illumination. Architect of wisdom, enlightening communication. Yours. Okay? So, this is an upright. So, that means you illuminate in certain things out your life. Okay? You illuminate in anything or anyone that no longer serves a life, a, a purpose in your life. Okay? You are focused on what's more important to you. Your love life, your career life, and your... um. And your journey, your soul path, okay? Your mission in life. You're, you're, you're becoming enlightening, okay? You are learning and you are gaining wisdom and knowledge, okay? Because that's what Thoth represents, okay? And plus it's an upright, okay? So you are, like I said, you are illuminating all what no longer serves you or anyone that no longer serves a purpose in your life or anything that no longer, you know, serves a purpose in your life, you are getting rid of it. And you are gaining wisdom, okay, and knowledge and enlightenment, okay? And you, you know, you you just, you're, you're on your mission, on your journey right now. And you just like, whatever that's not helping me, whatever's not good for me, I'm letting it go. Illum illumination. Okay? Next card we have, this is reverse, okay? And this is set. This is set right here, and this is reverse. So this is this your shadow self. Adversary Alley Trickster. Hmm. Hmm. So we are doing a love reading, Harmony. All right, let's, let's find out about this card before I give you the card input and my input. Okay. Set represented by okay an animal on of unknown organs is one of the most ancient of the Netaru. He expresses the harsh power of storms 
and of the desert and personifies chaos and confusion. He is the embodiment of the darker aspects of our nature, which are often projected onto others. Revived as the murderer of Osiris, he is most certainly a force to be reckoned with. Set. And let me tell you about Set. Set killed his brother. I don't know if you know this, but I'm going to tell you, okay? Because it's important that since you gain in wisdom, knowledge, and enlightenment on your journey right now, okay? It's a reason why you, you know, came to me and you hit me up because they have other, you know, people that do tarot cards, but I'm happy you chose me, okay? Because I get down to the nitty gritty. Like, I'm I, I'm into this shit for real. It's not, a, it's not a joke. It's not a game. I really get in touch with them, Okay? Because I, they, that's why I decided to do this. Because they get in touch with me, and I be getting in touch with them. So I said, "Why not?" You understand? I could have been done this, but I wasn't. I wasn't serious. I wasn't ready. I wasn't getting no, you know, downloads and synchronicities from from the angels and the gods and the goddesses. So I wasn't able to do this back then. So now I'm able to do this, and I'm so surprised I'm even doing this. And I'm lucky, and 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 be more that I am able to, you know, give these messages. Because everybody cannot do this and really, really get down to the nitty gritty from the angels them. All right. So set, I'm sorry. <laughs> so set, okay, is, okay, yes, I was explaining to you, all right, since we, we on this card, set killed his brother Osiris. Because he wanted to be the emperor or the king of the kingdom. Okay. He wanted to take his place, basically. He wanted to take his throne. He wanted to take over his brother Osiris' throne. So he chopped his brother Osiris up into 18 or 19 pieces and threw his body his body parts in a river. And his wife, Osiris, the reason why I love this queen so much, I love her so much, and I always talk to her, Mother, Os Mother Isis, okay? She went out there like a gangster, like a G, like a twin flame, divine feminine wood, okay? A queen of empress. She went out there and she found all her, bo all her husband body parts, Osiris body parts, after he chopped them up, okay? She found every last one of them except for his um, penis, okay? And, but every body part was found except for his penis. And she mummified her husband back together, Osiris, okay, after his brother Set was jealous and envious of, you know, what he had going on, okay, so this is in reverse right here, so there's something that you got to work on also, something, I gotta, something you got to work on, something that happened in the past, so Set represents the shadow self, okay, the trickster, so since we're talking about your love life, you have to make sure, gal, all right? Because don't don't make me come over there, ya, and make me come get him. Now, <laughs> but maybe he was a trickster in the past, or maybe he's a trickster now. And you have to find out. That's why you question in this relationship. That's why you, you know, you hit me up and you ask me what you ask me. Because something in you wasn't probably quite too sure. That's why, remember I said earlier in the reading, I said, if you love, you know, I mean, not love. If you like him, you know, if you have deep, deep feelings for him, you care about him, you know, why would you want to know if you should continue with him? Or should you, you know, or would you have any luck with your love life? It seemed like you would be already lucky. But you see where this car comes in at? It comes in like a confirmation to your question. Even though I said what I said, now I'm getting the message now. Now I'm understanding it now while you're asking because I'm getting this card. And it's in reverse. So either he was being a trickster in the past and he changed his ways. Or maybe he's a trickster now and, and it's something that you have to find out. That's why you're not quite sure. That's why you're wondering about your love life because something in you, your intuition, something deep down in you 
is asking questions about this relationship because he might be a trickster. And that's the reason why you probably feel like, should you have any luck with somebody else or would you continue on with this person? Hmm. We will, we will, we will find out at the end, but right now this is in reverse. And like I said, he probably was a trickster in the past. That's why y'all probably stopped talking for a while. Okay. Or, you know, and he changed his ways and he fixed it. Or maybe he's a trickster now and you have to, you know, before you get serious, before you get like, you know what, I'm going to be 100% faithful and loyal to this guy. You want to know. I mean, it's something that you want to know, something that you need to know about to see if he's for real, for real, or is he a trickster? So don't, all right. So don't get it twisted. Could have been in the past. He changed his ways and he could have got better now. Or he could have be a trickster right now. And it's something that you have to, you know, find out sooner or later. Okay. But that's your shadow self. And it's in reverse. Because you feeling okay, but you know, we have our, we have our, our, it's us, okay, physical, and then we got a higher self, okay? Your shadow self, okay? So that's why you you having questions. you question in this relationship, basically. I'm not going to say you have questions. you question in this relationship, okay? And, um, you know, that, all right, we're going to get back to that. But let's go to the next card. All right, so these two is in reverse. This was all right. So the next card, this one is in reverse, also. Okay, don't get scared. Okay, it's just something that you have to work on. Okay, or something that you have to find out. Is okay, it's many different um levels to these cards. Okay, so the next card is, and this is the key card, and this is Anubis. This is Anubis, and this is reverse. And this is like the major arcana card. Okay. And this is opener of the way. Hey. All right. And this is in reverse. So, and this is Anubis. This is um opening of the way. So it's something, okay, that you have to open up. You have to open a way up for something. It's something that's blocking, all right, that doorway. It's something that's blocking that portal, all right. But you need to. Okay, open. Oh, sorry. The you know you need to, you need to open the you know you need to open up to something or something. All right, oh, it's because it said opening of the way. So you have you know you have the you have to because this is reverse. So it has to be upright. So you have to. Open, all right, opening of the way. You have to open the way for yourself, okay? Because it's something blocking you. You have to find out what's blocking you so you can, um, you know, so you can heal that and get past it. So this can be upright. And if it was upright, it'd be a different story, all right? That means it's not it's not happening right now, all right? It's something it, that it, this is in reverse. So it needs to be upright. So you need to work on this opening of the way. And remember I told y'all, I mean, sorry. Remember, I told you about the um the Anubis card, and we have Anubis right here, but this is a different image, and this is upright. This is really like Anubis, the main card. But remember, I told you about um, surrendering, all right, having an enlightening heart, because you are, you you are starting, like I said, to to be enlightening, you're starting to gain wisdom and knowledge, okay, that's, that's happening for you, okay, that is happening for you, all right, and that's why I said, um, You have to work on this so this can be upright because like I said, this was in reverse and you have, and this is surrendering, enlightening heart, gaining wisdom, knowledge, okay, opening up your heart chakra to the one you care about because this is a love reading, okay, and remember I told you this has something to do with Thoth, all right, 
This has something to do with thoughts, enlightening communication, talking, expressing your feelings, enlightening heart, enlightening communication. So you are, you are enlightening. All right, you are. You get. You gain in the information. Gain. You gave. You gain in the knowledge. But you have to, okay. You have to turn it up right, baby girl. All right, it has to be upright because it's it is, and I'm I'm keep saying this so you can try to understand. I'm trying not to get you confused, okay? Because this is surrendering. Surrendering, you have a you have a light in your heart, so that's why it's reversed because you have to stop surrender. You have to. Surrender, basically, you know, you have to surrender and you're, and you're not trying to surrender right now. So that's why it's upright. So you have to surrender. You have to, um, this enlightening heart, this wisdom, this knowledge you gain in everything. You have to start communicating it. And this is a love reading. So you may have to start communicating that to your possibly soulmate God that you are with. You have to start communicating with him because this is upright. This is upright. This is going on right now. This is happening right now. This is the present. All right. So you have to communicate with him. You know, maybe you should say, I don't want to go talk too much because we got to get on the last card and then I'm going to emphasize. But, you know, let me just emphasize a little bit right here. Okay, you have to start communicating to him and you have to say, babe, you know what you want to do. You are you are you serious about me? Are you serious about us? Are you serious about this relationship? Are we going to go anywhere? You know, start digging deeper. Start finding out if this really is your soulmate. Start finding out if this really is your twin flame. Because you have to find out if he is a trickster. That's why you need to have the communication with him because you need to find out if he's a trickster or not or if he's serious because you need to know are y'all gonna be together or if you gonna move on and find somebody else and stop wasting your time with him even though you care so deeply about this man you need to find you need to communicate to him how you feel what you feel how you feel so you can see if he feel the same exact way and that's how you will find out if he's a trickster or not because this is in reverse this is not upright so this is what's going on baby girl okay because that's the shadow self trickster all right so your shadow your shadow self is can kind of confused because you you asked about this reading you your intuition something you know is not that's why you you had this question because your shadow self is you know is concerned because if if it wasn't you understand you would know that everything's okay between y'all and y'all good and y'all gonna be together and you wouldn't even think two seconds to doubt it okay but that's your shadow self was. All right, let's get to the last card. Last but not least, this is in this is an upright uh, upright card. Okay, and this is alchemy, baby girl, queen. This is the alchemy card, and this was upright. All right, the five sacred elements. The five sacred elements: fire, water, ether air okay yes that's beautiful that is beautiful yeah so see it's not all that it's not all that it's not all that confusing with this relationship and shit like that okay it's not even bad because look what you have you have the five sacred elements upright alchemy baby girl alchemy so let's see what the book says about that card because we 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 not playing here. We trying to find out the exact meaning and then we gonna emphasize on everything. Read the give the card's meaning and give my meaning that the spirit guides are giving me. Okay, that's what I mean about my meaning. 
It's not my personal meaning, all right? It's the best to my ability that the angels and the spirit gods are giving me to give to Harmony for her personal reading. Okay, so we are talking about the last but not uh, last but not least card, the alchemy. Alchemy, bro. We a day, y'all. Alchemy, where are you? Okay. Hold on. And I never thought I'd see the day. Okay. So the alchemy court, y'all, y'all. Beautiful card. The five sacred elements. Out. Sorry. Alchemical. Expresses the sacred archetypes of water, earth, fire, and air. All right. So this card represents the archetypes of water, earth, fire, and air, and an eternal dance of creativity, death, and rebirth. The embodied, the embodied elements, mysteries on our planet, okay? Represents the fifth element. And to me, okay, because it, 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 the card means the five sacred elements. And we, we named that. Fire, water, earth, air. All right? Fire, water, earth, air. Yes, okay? I think that was four, but <laughs> I got to get it right. All right, so let me, all right, because I don't want to go all the way back, but all right, this represents the five elements. So basically, basically, the five sacred elements. Hmm. Okay, so you and him, I want to say first, are both air signs. Okay, Aquarius on, um, I think he said Aquarius and Libra, both air signs. Aquarius and um, we y'all are compatible. I'm an air sign. I'm a Gemini, but I, that's why I was about to say we. But <laughs> y'all are compatible, and it's crazy how his you are ten, you know, eleven, and he he is two eleven. That's crazy. So guess what that means? Eleven eleven, girl. 11 11 this might be a freaking twin flame blood clot. yo me i just look upon this on the phone your message and i'm just like i looked at it yesterday i didn't i didn't you understand i didn't look at it like that i just looked at it like wow same birthday i did but i didn't look at it in a spiritual sense and now that i'm doing your reading gal remember i asked you was this your soulmate twin flame what made me ask you that it could have been just a matrix nigga <laughs> That might be a twin flame. Let me make you know that right now. While I'm fucking just looking at these messages. 10, 11, 2, 11. Not only yet because you have the same freaking day, birthday. It's because it's 11, 11. That's a twin flame symbol, girl. 
And then you got the alchemy card, the five sacred elements, the five sacred elements. That's a sacred motherfucking relationship. So you definitely need, you definitely need to find out if this is a trickster or not. So you can find out if this is your twin flame. Because this is sacred. The five sacred elements, the twin flame during the twin flame relationship is a sacred fucking relationship. All right? Definitely is cuz I'm a twin flame. I know. I know my twin flame. I'm a I you know, that's another story, but yes. This might be a twin flame. I swear. 11, 11, I'm looking at this and then I'm, I'm like, hmm, what about this card, this last card? I need some insight. Then I go on the messages, you understand? And then I'm looking at the birthday and then I'm coming back to this card. Now I know. Thank you. Thank you, my spirit guys. Thank you. Thank you, my angels. It might, this, I'm not going to say it is because I need more, you understand, detailed information and things like that. And only you will really know. But. Like I said, if it's not your twin flame, because 1111 is there. Come on. 11, that's sign. That's a sign from the universe, from the gods, from the... Like, that's not no freaking... Um, that's not no coincidence. Okay, and then you say, yeah, I've been on and off. That's me and my twin flame, been on and off. All right, but like I said, a twin flame and a soulmate feels almost the same, but the soulmate is only there to teach you a lesson, and that's it. It's nothing else after that. There's no coming back, oh, y'all coming back, oh, y'all linking up. No, you learn the lesson that y'all out. Peace, see you later, bitch. Your twin flame is always in and out, in and out, in and out, in and out. You could stop talking to this nigga for five years. He come back, y'all gonna get it when it popping because that's your divine lover. So it might be a twin flame, girl. Last but not least, that card right there, there y'all. And you have to surrender. All right, you have to surrender. And and you you know you have to surrender because you have an you have an enlightening heart. So you are probably coming to the point where you know where you trying to or you need to find out if this is your twin flame or soulmate because it's not upright. It's reversed. So you have to work on it so it can be this way facing me. Definitely. Definitely. Okay? You have an enlightening heart. You need to surrender. You need to surrender so that way you can turn this card around. You have to. Because it's something that you need to work on. It's something It's something that you need to work on that you're not. Because you have a lightning heart. You have the wisdom, the knowledge that you're gaining. And you have to surrender because you have an enlightening heart. And that's why you have to find out if this is your... You have to find out if he's a trickster or not. Okay? That's why you have to communicate. And you have to open up. You have to open up and express your feelings to him. Hey, babes, I, you know, let me tell you, do you know about soulmates? Do you know about um, twin flames? Because a soulmate could be a person, place, thing. A soulmate doesn't have to be your lover or somebody that you with. It could be a person, place, thing, it, a friend. It could be a lover, too. But it can be a, anything, an animal, a, anything. And they're only there to teach you something, and that's it. And it's a lot of people in your soul group. So that's why you have to communicate to him and see if he's enlightening. You have to see if he has an enlightening heart like you do. Okay? You have to see if he has an enlightening heart like you do. So you can know if y'all on the same level, if y'all on the same page. Because you need to know if he's a motherfucking trickster. So you, if he is your twin flame... You can start getting it on and popping with meditating. You could do that now, you know, with meditating and um, doing other things like that. I'm not going to get all into that right now, okay? But you could definitely, all right, find out if he's your twin flame or not. All right, so this was um, an upright. You have to, you know, illuminate some things out your life and you have to, share that enlightening communication with 
him and see if he's being a trickster. See if he's being a trickster or not. You have to find that out if his, if his love is pure. Do he love you unconditionally or do he love you with a condition? Do he love you just because you give him stuff? Do he love you because you take care of him? Do he love you, you know, when you, you know, when you being, when you being nice to him, want to take him out? Or do he love you regardless? Regardless. He love you with makeup, no makeup. He love you fat, skinny. He love you broke, rich. You need to know if he's a trickster or not. So you have to communicate. Because you're getting the enlightenment. All right? You're getting the enlightenment because you have an enlightening heart. And you're starting to wake up now. You're starting to get enlightened. You're starting to gain wisdom. You're starting to gain knowledge. You have questions. You're questioning this um, relationship that you have with him. So you just like, hmm, you want to know. And like I said earlier, I didn't know. Okay, I didn't know. That's why I said what I said. And so I'm like, okay, but she's curious. She wants to know. Her shadow self is curious. It wants it wants to know what's going on. Should she stay with this guy? All right. She if if he's a trickster, not she then she needs to go. You know, I need to go. If this guy's a, a goddamn trickster and he's not playing and he's playing with my heart and he's not serious with my heart about being with me and building something then I need to go. Okay? And that's the opening of the way. Because if he's a motherfucking trickster, then you have an opening of the way to get the motherfucking out of there and move on with your love life. But that's in the upright. I mean, sorry, that's, that's in reverse. That has to be in the upright. You have to turn that around. And this is the key card right here. This is the key card. The opener of the way. So once you start communicating, all right, start communicating the wisdom and the, and the enlightenment that you get, all right, with this with this God that you're with, that might be a twin flame, that might be a twin flame, okay, it will be either an opening of a way for you to leave this situation, this relationship, or it's going to be an opening of the way for you to gain more clarity and knowledge about this twin flame journey that you might be on, girl. That may make you know. And that is crazy. Yeah. I'm telling you. I'm telling you. It's crazy. All right. So that is the basically the summary. All right. I summed it all up for you. All right. So... Basically, let me just sum it up a little bit more. Okay? Let me just sum it up a little bit more, and that's going to be it with these right here. All right? So, basically, the dude that you with right now, okay, that might be your soulmate or might be a twin flame. That we often find out. That you, you know, that's for you to think about tonight. That's for you to try to gain some clarity on, burn some incense, some sage, some myrrh, talk to your angels, talk to your gods, ask them for guidance and assistance. You need to know because I'm I'm telling you, you're going to want to know because I'm, I'm fucking in love with my motherfucking twin flame. Like, <laughs> I, that's all right. Let's not talk about that right now because I'm not going to shut up. All right. So basically, you with this, all right, do a possible soulmate. That you need to surrender your enlightening heart to. You have to surrender. You have to surrender your enlightening heart to this person. I mean, to this, you know, to this, to your possible soulmate or twin flame. Because, like I said, it's something that he, okay, could have done, okay, in the past. Or, you know, I'm sorry. It wasn't even that one. Sorry. All right. So you have to surrender your heart. Yeah, you have to. Sur sorry. You have to surrender so you can. All right. Communicate. 
your lightning heart. You have to communicate because this is the upright card. You have to communicate your enlightening heart to him. You have to tell him how you feel. You have to tell him how you feel. You have to surrender and say, you know what? Fuck this. Let me see what I want with. I need to talk to him. I need to know if he's serious about this relationship. I need to know if he's serious about, serious about me. I need to know if he really loves me or if he's fucking just being a motherfucking trickster. Because you haven't, you haven't, you know, you haven't questions because your shadow self, your intuition. You see that? I don't know if you can see it because the light. But Set has another set over here, shadow self, okay? You have to, you have to, you know, open up to him and see where, you know, where he stands with you in real life. You understand? Not based on feelings. Talk to him because... That is the upright card. Enlightening communication. Talk to him with enlightening heart. Open up your heart chakra. Talk to him and, and with and with enlightenment that you have, the wisdom and knowledge that you have. Because that's stop. Stop is all about wisdom and knowledge. Alright? And like I said, this was the reconciliation of opposites. So, like I said, this probably happened in the past with him. Okay? This probably happened in the past with him, or this is happening now, and it needs to be upright this way. So you have to work on this, because this is forgiveness and understanding. It's something, like I said, he did in the past, okay? It's something that he did in the past. That's why y'all had stopped talking for a while, you know? Or that's why y'all, you know, took a break, all right? Because it's probably something that he had done, or it's something that he's doing or not doing now, that's why it's reversed. You have to have to be this way, upright. All right? So you either have to give him some type of forgiveness for something that he done in the past, okay, and understand why he did it, or you're going to find out that he's a motherfucking trickster. I mean, sorry, you found out that, you know, he was a trickster, or whatever, and will you forgive him? If he's a fucking trickster, that's upright, okay? But since, you know, this is, you know, this is up here, and this is not down here. Because this is, like, past, this is, like, more recent, okay? So this, this really does not have nothing to do, doesn't really play out with this card right here, all right? But it kind of, you know, I said that because... This is the shadow self. This is, you need to find out if he's a trickster. So, and it says forgiveness and understanding. So, like I said, something that you need to forgive him, something that he did in the past, or now is something that you have to forgive him about now. You found out he a trickster. Would you forgive him? Will you take him back? Will y'all work on it? All right, because this is opener of the way. You have to talk to him. You have to communicate to him how you feel. So you can know if you're on the same level as you. Because your shadow self has questions. Your shadow self is questioning this relationship. That's why you wanted this reading. Okay? That is why. So you have to open. You have to open. The opener of the way. And reverse. And it has to be upright. So you have to work on it. You have to open up the way. You have to communicate. All right? You have to communicate. Sorry. You have to surrender first. Surrender your enlightening heart. Open up. Talk to him. Let him know. Yo, you might be my soulmate. You might be my twin flame. See where, see where, you know, it goes from there. See how he reacts. If he say, oh, I don't think we have a connection. Or, yeah, I think we have some type of special connection. You know, like, see what he says. All right? Because it said reconciliation of opposites. Yeah, you might think y'all on the same page. Or y'all might be on the same page in some way. Because y'all ear signs. Okay? Y'all have, y'all have the, you know, y'all freaking ear signs. Different different months, but the same element, 
All right. And even though your air sign, you know, you still have fire, earth and other things in your chart. You just, That's how you know your natal chart. But y'all are, you know, compatible with each other. But that doesn't mean just because you're compatible with somebody that, you know, that ain't nothing going on under the motherfucking rug, you know? He ain't sweep no shit under the rug. So that's why you, you need to talk to him so you can find out if he's a motherfucking trickster or if he motherfucking serious or not. So you can get this opening of the way so you can find out if this is your twin flame or your soulmate and you can make a decision based on that at yell. All right, but this reconciliation right here is, like I said, have something to do, to do with the past because it reversed, or it probably has something to do with right now. And once you start communicating with him, talking to him about this connection that y'all might be having, all right, or um, sacred union y'all might be in, all right, y'all will basically, you know, because it's your yeah, opposites. Even though we the, y'all yeah, the same sign, all right? Reconciliation opposites. So once you start communicating with him, y'all yeah, will reconcile your yeah, opposites and, you know, yeah, your yeah, opinion. You 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 think, okay, maybe this might be my soulmate. Maybe this might be my twin flame. But he probably like, we just have a special connection. We just real tight. You understand? You like, what? What? I don't think so. How you not, how you not gonna know we have a spiritual connection? Like, how you don't know that we, you understand? So it's reconciliation of opposites because that's why you have to communicate to see if y'all on the same page or not. All right, y'all. And this might be a twin flame, last but not least card. So let's do one more clarification on that. Please, my spirit guides and my angels, we need an answer tonight for this queen harmony. This queen, my sister, Harmony. Let's see, Wagwan. Can you please, my spirit guides, my angels, the gods and the goddesses, give me some type of clarification and answer to close this reading out about this soulmate or possible twin flame. Let's pick a card. So I'm picking a card. I'm going to let you see. I'm not looking. Wow. We got the six of. <sighs> got the six of seeds. Doing girl. Hold on, I'm coming, I'm coming. I just gotta give you the right meaning. All right, hold on. Be patient. Be unique. I'm getting to know the cards. All right. Sorry, this is the Six of Clubs. All right, sorry. This is Six of Clubs. Yo, that's crazy. No, that's crazy, Harmony. I did a six-card spread, right? And look, I just did a clarification card. Six 
of clubs for you to clarify this alchemy card. And look what came out. Six, girl. Let's, let me tell you something. The angels is there, y'all. The angels is here. Let me make you know that. For my higher self to know, you know, and me to know. The angels is here. That's one thing I want to say. Because how this is all playing out, the angels is definitely answering our question, Harmony. And I'm so thankful. Thank you so much, my spirit guides and angels. Thank you so much. All right. So this is the six of clubs. That's awesome. Because I'm doing a six card spread. And the six of, six of clubs came out. Come on now. Come on. I'm not, I'm not making this stuff up, guys. Definitely not. All right. So the six of clubs represents All right. The six of clubs represents All right. The element is air. Baby girl, queen, I don't know. I don't know if this message could get any clearer for you, but it's definitely getting clear to me. I'm glad I'm taking my time because it's coming to me. Not fast, but shortly, but slowly it's coming, baby girl. Queen. This card means air. You are air sign. Here is sign. 11, 11. Air. The six of clubs, but we're not really, we're not focused on really the number, all right? We're focusing on what the card is, meaning, but that number represents something too, you know? It's, it's a, it's a, it's a sign from the angels, okay? It's like a confirmation, basically, but you're not really supposed to be worrying about the numbers, but sometimes some people, you know, bring the numbers in because it's just all making sense now. Everything is coming together. I could, listen up. All right. And remember, I told you that um, earlier before I did the video, I was telling you about I made a purchase. It was 66. And then it was and um, it was at 54 cents, something like that. And five plus four, five, six, eight, nine, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Yeah. Got to make sure it's right. Up right, you turn the nine around, you got six, 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 six. I did a six card spreading because of that. Guess what? I'm getting six. The number six. Air, air. The element, your sign, Gemini, air. Come on now. June, January, February, March, April, May, June, six. So let me tell you something, baby girl. Queen, I'm not, I'm <laughs> You might have to have this done by June. All right? Like I said, they, the numbers don't really matter, but in this case, yes, we're going to talk about the number. Not in all cases you talk about numbers, but in this case, we are going to talk about it. So you need to get this done by June. All right? And then a five, this is the clarification for the alchemy card. This is it right here. The five sacred elements and the, the card you get, the six of clubs is a goddamn air sign. I mean, air element, sorry. <laughs> and you are air sign. That's crazy. Everything is going with each other. All right, so air, this card represents dreams. All right, it represents dreams. And this is the clarification for this card. That's why I picked this card to clarify. You understand? So you don't go tonight thinking, okay, so, you know, it might be my twin flame. might might be my soulmate. I need to figure this out. But also, you're going to have clarification also. So you got the clarity. You got the answer you wanted. But you have more clarification. All right? That's like the confirmation right there. All right, so you know, you know what's really, what's really what. All right, so this card represents dreams. This and this is a confirmation for this too. Look at it. I don't know if you can see it that well, but it's beautiful. It's a beautiful card. 
They like have the different, you know, elements on it. A bird it has a dragon. It has fire, water. It has a feather. It has flowers. Okay, so it represents dream, your intuition, your shadow self. Your intuition, your shadow, that's why you're questioning this whole thing. This relationship, this friendship, this connection, I'm going to say. you question it, your shadow self, your intuition. It also represents your thinking. Your thinking. Illumination and, and, and lightning communication. You thinking and you want to communicate your thoughts because that's where your intuition comes from. You're listening to your intuition. So you're thinking and you want to communicate that to the that you want to communicate that to the God that you're dealing with. You have to because it this has to, you know, it has to all come together. So you can definitely know or not not oh it might be not you're gonna know. You have you're gonna you're gonna work on that. You're gonna find out this your twin flame or soulmate. Okay, this card also has to do with connecting, communication. I just said that, and I and I said that before I went to that. I said that already. Communicating. You have to communicate how you feel. You have to communicate so you can find out if this if this dude is a motherfucking trickster or not, or if he's serious about your love, if he's serious about this relationship, if he's serious about this connection, all right, so you can have an opening of the way, so you can basically go into your twin flame journey, or you can learn what you're going to learn from him, and leave, and it's not going to be no reconciliation, okay, or, or no forgiving, or you're going to understand and probably forgive, but you're probably still going to fucking move on and have the opening of the way once you find out if this is a trickster or once you find out if this is your twin flame. Confirmation right here. Also, okay, represents um friendship, all right? Isolation. Isolation. Illuminating. Isolation. I said that already. All right. Also represents, okay, friendship. Like I said, you, you might have a friendship with this guy, but like I said, it's more, you know, y'all probably started off at friends and became more, okay? Or y'all just have that deep, cool, dope connection. All right. And could deal with work also. And remember, I told you about you doing work with the cards. You can start off with these cards. That's doing your work because you are getting the enlightenment still, even though it's a love reading, okay? you st On your journey, I'm going to still give you the messages because it's both to me. All right? So you're still getting the knowledge. You're still getting the enlightenment and the wisdom, okay? That's why you say you want to learn how to do tarot, all right? So that could be part of your work when you're home. That could be a part of your, you know? If you want to, not saying you have to, but any type of work you are gifted to do, do it. It don't have to be tarot. It could be anything. You like creating different, you know, whatever, soaps, perfume, you know, you like teaching people, whatever you like to do. It, it has something to do with work too. So basically, this was the clear fire. Thank you so much, my guys and my angels. This was the clear fire for this card. All right. For your possible twin flame. And it definitely clarified it, definitely. Dreams, intuition, all right? You thinking, you connecting with him, but you have to communicate with him so you can connect with him. And once you find out if he's a motherfucking fuckboy or trickster, all right? Or if he's serious about your loving, you can open, have opening of the way so you can basically get on your twin flame journey or learn your lesson from the soulmate and move on okay baby girl queen so that's what it's all about all right i hope you enjoyed this reading because i did i hope you got some type of clarification but right now all you have to do is talk to him all right find out babe 
listen, you know I love you. You know I care about you. I think we have a special connection. I think we might be soulmates or twin flames. Okay? And see what he says. See what he's thinking about what you're saying. Because it all matters about what he's, you know, what he's thinking and what he's saying about the about, about your connection. You need to see if y'all on the same page or not. All right? You need to see if y'all on the same page so you can decide whether you're going to stick with him and work it out. Okay? Or you're going to move forward. Okay, you're going to learn your lesson from what you have to learn from him, and you're going to move forward with yourself, with your life, with your love life. Or, like I said, you're going to find out where y'all stand from here. Okay, you're going to find out where his heart is, and you either going to step into that soulmate energy, or you're going to step into that divine soul. I'm sorry, you're either going to step into that soulmate energy, or you're going to step into this divine twin flame energy. So that's opening up of the way once you communicate with him once you get insight about how he feels from his mouth okay because we know you know a little bit well it wasn't really you didn't really ask about how he felt towards you but basically you wanted to know should you can you know continue to stay with him because you care so much deeply about him or should you you know um move further with your love life you know should you um you know part ways with him and look for a new lover or not. And at first I didn't understand until I did your reading. Now I understand is that, yes, you know, you really like this guy. Yes, you probably love him. You deeply care about him. But he probably has some shit up his sleeve that you don't know about that you need to find out. Before you get serious with him. And once you know if he's a trickster or not, if he a fuckboy or not, if he deeply in love with you or he's just there if he unconditionally love you or do he just love you con for a condition once you find that out you your heart chakra will definitely open up and your guys once you ask for help they will assist you to be on that right journey so either you will have the opening of way that opening of the way to be that soulmate learn a lesson and part ways from him and say, okay, I, I care deeply about him because he was part of my soul group but I was only supposed to learn a lesson and now I'm moving on that's why you was having that, your shadow self, your intuition. That's why you was curious to know. That's why you asked that question. And that's why, you know, I answered it. Okay. But if he's serious about your love, he loves you unconditionally. He wants to work with you and be on this journey with you. And he understand. He can be positive feedback on what you say to him. Then you can have the opening of the way of the twin flame divine journey. So you can go either way, the soulmate way, or you can go the twin flame way. But that's something that you have to personally meditate and work on and ask yourself and, you know, conjure up the evidence and the time. Yes, just anything energy wise. Like if you want to know more about twin flames, I'll let you know. But so you can know if this is your twin flame or not. But I got that sign about your birthdays, 11-11, baby girl, queen. So I think y'all might be twin flames. So there you go. All right. I love you. Have a good night. I hope this reason, I hope this reading resonate with it with you. I really did. I really do hope it resonate with you because it definitely resonate with me, you know, um, with your question that you had. All right. I love you all, girl. Stay up. Stay positive. Give out that love and that light. Talk to him and um, just let me know what happens from there, what he thinks about the connection. And it's 11-11 right now. Later, girl. That's it. That was a confirmation. That's it.